I have a question. August 15th. So, um, I, uh, in the last discussion, you said that mushkil ke saath asani bhi hoti hai. Yeah, in, in the malus you say, yeah. So, with, with it. Yeah, so. Same, same at the same time. So, my uncle, he's been blind since childhood and he hasn't had, you know, any good things happen with him. He's become a heart patient and he's had, he's got more ill over time and we don't see any any good thing happen with him so how can we how can he see any good impact happening with him how can he see the good in his life because he's really depressed a lot of the time and he just has nothing good going on and he's also like you could say a good muslim too you are about his personality you are affected right yeah because you are healthy and normal yeah good thanks to allah yeah that you should do you see the problem, you should not worry about him because he was blind before before the birth, right? No, he was blind, I think, at like uh, 13. Okay, 13 years, whatever. You don't know his psyche, you don't know his inner feelings, you don't know anything about him. No. So what I'm trying to convey is basically this is a wrong concept in the world that people see the poor and the people who are dying of hunger, dying of hunger, and there are many situations that you will find that it is like injustice. So you are trying to, in other words, blaming God Almighty. In other words, you didn't mean it. I'm just trying to explain to you. So once you blame God, basically you are saying that God is unjust. Do by doing all this crime because all these wars going on in the world, or the kids, uh, what innocent guys are being, being, being killed, young boys are being killed, and there's so many things you can say that your uncle was blinded and this and that. But Quran, Allah says. The answer to this, 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 uh, to this problem is, Allah says, you cannot question God for his actions, what he do, but you will be questioned. So why? Because if, if, if I ask you to go and sit, sit on a, if I make you the president of the world, president or the queen of the world, can you run the country, the whole world? So this is God's seat. Why did he create blind what happened to him? Why he was uh, suffering in the world? You don't know. Or you see people, you think by financially they are nice, they are living nicely. You don't know their, what's going in their minds. Right? Like Steve Jobs, you know Steve Jobs died I suppose? Yes. He was a wealthy rich guy. And you know what he said? I was lying on my bed and the machines were going like this. And I said I cannot... I can have a driver, I can do, I can have this and that. I can't have somebody to lie in my sickness and I should walk off as a healthy guy. So what I'm trying to explain to you, you don't know anybody. You must be thankful for your own, you must always be thankful that God made you better. By looking others, you should try to drive this rather than thinking that, oh, this God has done justice, unjust to this and unjust to that, unjust to that. What's, the, what's what you'll get out of it? Nothing. So it is better to be good to yourself that Allah has blessed me with not that bad. This is what we have to learn. Because people start thinking, that Allah said, you cannot question God because you don't know what actual, actually God, why he did it. You can, I don't come, I cannot come to know. And there is a narration in the Quran also with Moses and there was a gentleman who was knowing more than Moses. So Mo Moses was taught a lesson by somebody in the Quran which they say, what they say, what's his name? The so doctor, uh, he's a Khizr, Khizr, but he's not mentioned like this. So he, he killed an innocent boy. As, uh, Musa Sam said, why did you kill the innocent boy? He, what crime? So you don't ask questions, you don't know what life is about, what you don't know. Then he made a, a hole in a boat. You, he did something and then he gave answers also that he saw the future. He saw the future that this boy would have grown and been a bad to his parents. So I killed him. So what Allah does, so many things we cannot comprehend because of his greatness, why he's doing so. But what we apparently see and we think because he's, he, he, your uncle or you see like he's suffering and you feel it. But you don't know in his mind what type of man he is. He may not say so to you, but you are a young girl of you. Uh, not. But what I'm trying to convey, there are times we cannot comprehend. We think he's living a good life. But in his heart, he's living a bad, problem life. Like Steve Jobs was, was dying. <laughs> and we were thinking he was having a so rich, rich guy. 
बट पीपल मस्ट ऑलवेज अप्रिशिएट देर ओन लाइफ एंड अप be thankful to what they are if they see something bad always be thankful god thanks i am not in that condition thanks i am not in that condition don't be regretful all the time because i am in that condition be if you look down upon somebody and you think you are better than us always be thankful because you don't know what 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 is is going in his mind why god him do, did this to him you don't know but you can't blame god because we don't have total knowledge about god we don't have total no doubt that man why he was done punishment to him why allah made him like this that's what my answer to this is people think wrongly about god that he did injustice to mankind